The starters orders qualifiers and exits the hurdle first. As usual, two more six furlongs, 0 to 1 tens this week, so Rapunzel at the top, Marty Lim, Craig in detail, James Shea ready to go, Padre Hogan, roll a six, Craig back with absolutely David Hooley, Rock of Ages, Padre Hogan, Grudge Belt, James Shea, Military Salute, Jim Murray, Daniel Garcia, Matt Cooper, Archers, Rain, Paul Parsons, Parisian Chief, Graham Clutterbuck, City Music, Jim Murray, Tough Has Boots, Paul Graham Clutterbuck, Blakeney, Sally Adam, Old Glamist, Alex Cherry, Thunder Rosa, Matt Cooper, Potter Seria for Adam Old, and Alex Cherry's got the bottom two dollar bell and chop door nation. A field of 19, and they're called in and ready to go. I'm surprised there's as many as this in a 0 to 110. There must be a heck of a lot of lowly rated hurdlers this season. You think that the Hunters are capped at 100, and we're getting three or four runners in some of them, so where are all these 0 to 110 hurdlers coming from? Anyway, I'm even more surprised to see that David Hooley's got one. But he has, and it's in the lead. Absolutely. There you go. Over the first of the 13, then. And Blayton is Sally on the inside, and absolutely closest to us. Absolutely, he's the clear leader by about a length, I'd say. The rest of them are pretty tightly grouped. So they go past the winning post. They've got two circuits ahead of them, I think. And absolutely, he's in front. From in second place, Blayton is Sally. Chuck that really well, and has gone into the lead. Actually, there's a faller at the back. Potter Sierra. So, rear four in the hurdles. So that one has gone. Blakely Sally. And absolutely disputing the lead. Then the top white Rapunzel is just about third ahead of Krogin Detail and Military Salute. Then comes Daniel Garcia as they get over the third. He's ready to go and Rock of Ages next. And then Archer's Reign. He's roll of six after that one. And Grudge Belt. And towards the back Thunder Rosa. He's the back marker at this point. But absolutely is now absolutely in the lead. Leading by two and a half lengths to Blakeney Sally in second. Bit of a slow jump by the leader that was allowed Blakeney Sally to get back up sides again. Crogging details now just third ahead of military salute. And then Rapunzel then comes ready to go. The Rock of Ages and Archer's Reign and Roller Six. Daniel Garcia at the inside as well. And City Music trying to run on. But it's absolutely in blatantly Sally. And we're disputing the lead from Croggy in detail in third. And safely over that one. Well, look, Alex Cherry's got three in this. How's he managed to do that? And they get over the next. A steward's inquiry into this race. Dollar Bell, Chop Tall Nation, and Glamis. I'll have to find out what's going on there. Now well, that's happened, I didn't think it was possible to get three in. I didn't think, the, um, I didn't think Tom went here, but anyway. Well, he's managed to do that. I'm sure he hasn't done anything, anything sort of sinister. It's probably an accident or a mistake. Maybe he's not even supposed to be in the race, one of them. And it's been put in by accident. On a race runner, anyway, we'll find out later on, no doubt. But it's absolutely in the lead. Blakeney Sally is in second, Crogging Detail is third, Military Salute is fourth, Rapunzel is fifth, and Rock of Ages and Roller Six, Daniel Garcia and Archer's Reign. Then comes Glamist, the first of the Alex Cherry three. Right, so Glamist, Chop Tall Nation, and, Thun and Dollar Bell. I wonder which one is the one that isn't supposed to be in it. I wonder how funny it would be if that one won. Anyway, more qualified even. <laughs> when they get over the night and absolutely is in the lead. Oh, Blakely Sally second, Croggy in detail, he's in third. And military salute is fourth. Then comes Roller Six and Rapunzel. And a little gap back to the rest of them were more in a, in a group. He's ready to go, and Daniel Garcia ahead of them. Also, Archer's Reign is in there as well. They get over number 10, which they all successfully get over. And absolutely, he's clearing the lead. And take this big, long, sweeping turn to take them back towards home. And absolutely, he's in front. Military salutes moved into second. Blakeney's 
Sally is still there, crogging details, going to try and go up the inside. Archer's reign is running on nicely now, so too is Glamis and City Music. Rapunzel just struggling momentarily on the inside as they got over that next one. And it's now Roller Six who's hit the front. Roller Six from Absolutely. Here comes Military Salute over the second last they go. And it's now Roller Six and Absolutely. There's only two furlongs to go. And it's all changed up top. Crogging Details come to take it up. It's Crogging Detail from Roller Six. Military Salute moving to second. Crogging Detail and Military Salute coming down towards the final flight. Crogging Detail over on the far side. Military Salute closest to us. Looks to be going the better at the moment. They're coming down on the final flight. It'll all come down to the jump. And it's Military Salute who goes on. But Crogging Detail jumps it slightly quicker. But Military Salute's got more pace on the flat. And Military Salute is going to take it. Crogging Detail is going to be second. It's going to be close for third. Just Roller Six ahead of City Music. Then Blankness Sunny. Tough has boots. Who didn't get mentioned all the way in the race. Ran on well. And... Jim Murray gets a first and a fourth. And look, they'll both qualify for the final. So Military Salute, the winner for Jim Murray. Crogging Detail for James Shea was second. Roller six for Craig Beckwith was third, and City Music for Jim Murray fourth, with Blakeney Sally for Adam Old in fifth. Let's just double check the names of those. Yep, it's definitely right. Alex Sherry did have three in it. We'll have to try and find out which one wasn't supposed to be in the race. <laughs> 